this video is for March week one, which is actually March 10th because of our snow day on the first week of March. We are starting March week one this week. And we have a brand new life app for the month, and the life app is Individuality, Discovering Who You Are Meant to Be. And we're actually changing in Oak Ridge Kids to say Discovering Who God Made You to Be. So this week is all about being created in the image of God from Genesis 1, and our bottom line is God made me in His image. Um, so our memory verse for this month is, How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. Psalm 139, 14. What a great, great verse for kids to anchor their life on. And then make so make sure all kids take one of these home this week. And also make sure all kids take home a car ride conversations for week one. Tells parents what we're learning about. Asks the important question, what does it mean to be made in God's image? Gives them something they can do in the mornings this month. Um, goes over their memory verse and our life app for the month. So make sure all parents get that. So hopping into our leader guide, we would love for you to meet us in the garage door room at 820 and 1020. Donuts, coffee, just a time to hang out together, get to know one another a little bit better. We praying for each other and just praying for our kids to understand what it means that they are created in God's image and that they are unique individuals um, and God made us all different. So it's just awesome. Then we'll be finished with that at 8.30 and 10.30. Make sure if you're not here for donuts and coffee that you make it to your small group by 8.30 and 10.30 so that you are ready for kiddos to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40. So um, the first thing that they are going to do at 8.40 and 10.40, did I say this video is for kindergarten through first grade? I don't know if I said that. Okay. So the first thing they're going to do is you're going to have paper and crayons and you're going to give each kiddo a, a blank piece of paper and you're going to tell them to draw something of their own choosing, whatever they would like. And say, I'm going to give you, you know, a couple of minutes to draw whatever you would like. And then when two kids get finished, you're going to have them switch papers and you'll give them another blank piece of paper and tell them to try to copy what their friend did to their best ability. So see if they can remake what their friend made. Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do a little interactivity called close up. And you're going to show a close up picture of an image and ask kids what they think it is. And then after they've taken some guesses, you're going to show them the zoomed out image. So we've got some grass, and there's the zoomed out image. We've got toothbrush bristles. We've got an orange. We've got a pencil. And everyone's favorite, we've got a spider. Gross. So there's the zoomed up images, and you're just going to say, wow, those were some really cool pictures, weren't they? It was super hard to guess what those things were close up. Well, we're going to go to a large group where we're going to hear about another kind of image. Head kids down to large group, live storyteller and host this week to kick off our month, um, learning about how God made us in his image. Like always, just make sure you're sitting with your small group, helping them to engage in the story and to worship. When you get back from large group, you're going to do an activity called Made in God's Image. And what you're going to need is these little papers here that are called Made in God's Image and some crayons or markers. And you're going to give each kiddo one of those activity pages and you're going to read, guys, this says made in God's image. So make sure that they know what that says. And then you're going to tell them to draw a self-portrait. So they're going to draw themselves on their pages. And as they work, maybe talk about things that make, make each of them unique, um, like maybe their eye color, or their fingerprints, their hair color, their noses, and then say things that make us all the same, right? Um, we all have 10 fingers and 10 toes. Well, maybe we all have 10 fingers and 10 toes. Um, and we can all, um, we all have um, eyelashes and we all have noses. And then finally, talk about the things that make us all like God. So you can ask kids to think of the life app that they learned, life apps that they learned about in the past. Like compassion makes us like God. Service, wisdom, self-control, all of those things um, are how we are made in God's image. So you'll close it down by saying, guys, God made us all in his image and he made us each unique, but he also made us similar to each other in so many ways. And he made us to be like him. And we can have self-control and wisdom. We can serve others and show them compassion. And everyone can do these things with God's help. Even the kid at school who has habits that are different than ours or the teacher who you might not get along with can do those things and because they are made in the image of God too. So remember, guys, God made us in his image and he made you in his image too. So for the memory verse activities, you're just going to need your Bibles and you're going to help kids to look up Psalm 139, 14. Here's the kindergarten tips and here's the first grade tips. 
And after you read the verse together several times, practice it with the hand motions for this month. Remind kids that God made us in his image, which is so amazing. And ask kids to think of a pose they can make that shows their excitement about the fact that God made them in his image. And tell kids that when you point to someone, you want them to make that pose. And then read the verse out loud and on each word or phrase, point to a kid to do their pose. So maybe you would say, how you made me, point to trip is amazing and wonderful point to gus i praise you for that point to landon what you have done is wonderful point to lane i know that very well point to hattie psalm 139 14 and just practice going at point to each kid to show off their amazing pose for the month um and remind kids that our store is going to open in april so on the very first week of april if they know this memory verse They'll be able to get a ticket for knowing this memory verse, so they really want to start memorizing it. And you'll close down that memory verse activity by saying, so guys, God made us all in his image, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, God is completely awesome, and he made us to look and act like him. Wow, that makes me so excited. So everybody show me your excited pose one more time. Good job. God made me in his image. Everybody say that with me. God made me in his image. And then to close down with prayer, you won't need anything. You're just going to ask kids to strike their excited poses and then tell them to take turns repeating this prayer while they're making their pose. God, thank you for making me in your image. And then you'll just close down with this prayer below and just say, guys, remember, God made me in his image and he made you in his image too. And so when their parents come, tell kids to ask them about um, this, how God made us in his image. That's it for this week, guys. Super excited to kick off a new month here at Oak Ridge Kids. Um, looking forward to springtime weather for sure. And just thank you guys so, so much for leading and serving in Oak Ridge Kids. Thank you for being wonderful small group leaders. So grateful for all of you. Make sure that all your kiddos take one of these home. Hopefully we'll see you at 820 and 1020. See you on Sunday.